Be prepared. Critics are calling it the best movie of all time. A test of courage comes on epic story of the heart to take an unforgettable journey. He is So you're, we're just going to start it out where you're just going to be asking me questions basically right now. Is that okay? So you started this this thing in San Francisco. Like, where did it, where did this whole thing come about? You're on this adventure. You wanted to take this to the next level by backpacking. I think everybody wanted to do something similar to that in life, you know, but you actually took it upon yourself to actually do it, even at the age of 29. That's pretty inspiring. Yeah, man. I mean, like it dates back to when I was a little kid reading books like Maniac and Gee and Where the Red Fern Grows. And those are just like inspiring books to me, like these young dudes like out in the wilderness or just like going, venturing through the city by themselves. Like Maniac and Gee was an orphan and he was just going through and just meeting all kinds of different people and getting into all kinds of different adventures. Mm -hmm. And all he needed was himself, you know, and he was just himself and that was enough to get by. So those are, that's how this idea popped into my head initially back in like books from fourth grade and it's just continually manifesting and continues to grow into more and more you know like first and foremost the trip is for myself it's just a, it's just like a trip for knowledge of self and to like to just journey and to just be in the moment like I'm always thinking of if I'm in a place I'm always thinking of like what else I should be doing or what else I could be doing and not being present in that moment. And that like, that affects you when you're like, when you're living like that cool. and you don't get as much from the person you're with or even if you're by yourself, you know, you're not taking in everything that's around you, like maybe a beautiful tree or just like looking up at the sky and just being there and present. It's to me like that's where I found my freedom on this trip is just being present in the moment and not worrying about anything else. I don't have any kind of idea of what's going to happen four days from now, let alone isn't tomorrow. That, isn't, that, isn't that like a whole level of freedom that you've never even, you can't even explain, I don't even know how this feels, it's but incredible. I'm living it vicariously through you, uh, but it's inspiring just hearing the story you know, in person and even seeing it on your blogs and stuff, but you know, you talked about you know how you, you know, you woke up one night, you know, like even, uh, you know, morning uh, under a bridge, you know, like. That's yeah, just... yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, and I've always, I've always thought about things like that. Like, I wonder what that's like to yeah. just, to just camp out on the street or what these people are going through. I'm doing this by choice. Yeah. You know, there's people that have to live on the street because they have no other option for whatever that may be at that right. moment, you know, and, uh. Yeah, I, that's one of my favorite stories of this trip so far. It's like I'm, I'm walking around the city streets looking for a place to sleep, lay my head for the night, and I'm like, that's the perfect spot right under that bridge. I feel safe there. And I went to bed smiling. Like I'm just laying there under this bridge, smiling to myself like, wow, this is amazing. And then wake up the next morning on a hard gravel road just smiling. Amazing. And then you said you, you started off in San Francisco. Where was your first place that you stopped? Like, did you take a bus? Did you start? Did you just start walking? Or I mean, like, where was that initial starting line? You know, it's so interesting. The initial starting line is when I committed to myself. Uh, I was out with a buddy that I've talked to this trip, uh, talked about this trip with multiple times. And uh, so December twelfth, two thousand twelve, is where it all started. And that's when I told myself, like. I have no other reason not to do this. There's no reason not to do this. I can't allow fear 
to keep me from living out my dreams, you know? And I feel like a lot of people have that problem. It's like either they're, it sounds weird, but they're like afraid of success or they're afraid of like what they, they might change or something. They're afraid of change in general. And I can't, I can't do that self for my life. What would you What would you say to anybody that was trying to do something similar to you? No, it, it might be in a different format, but what would be any word of advice or wisdom to go out and live your dream and do something that you know uh, that to others might seem foolish or to be different, and that they might give you you know uh, their own advice. But what would be yours? Uh, you know, since you're living in that moment, my advice would be just to. That's, that's where knowledge of self comes into play because you don't need the approval of your peers to go after your dreams because they're your dreams. Why do you need somebody else to co-sign on your dream? It's just a matter of committing to yourself like, I really want this and there's nothing that can hold me back from, from doing it and just going, going for it. That's awesome. Being, like letting go of fear. Uh, and that's, that's really, you're totally right. It's, that's exactly what it takes for people to make that uh to find themselves you know yeah and it, that comes into play with uh being in the moment is it's it's just moment by moment that you're getting closer to your dream and to like not look at it as an end result but that that's why i'm calling this a journey because there's no end result for me it's just all all a journey and i'm just being in the moment and being right there and that's true freedom and it's really interesting because, I mean, I met you in Las Vegas. That's really <laughs> where we all got connected, you know, yeah, with yeah. me and, you know, and Keith. Uh, that's, you know, we're, I was, that was such an uh, awesome experience how we all met, you know. Uh, even the re- remembers we might even do a different segment for uh, the G Suite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other segment. That's a whole other <laughs> Season two. <laughs> but uh, when I first met you, I knew there was something special about you, you know, because, I mean, Anybody knows Keith, you know, he was special. So it seems like special people always have, you know, special people around them. Definitely. Uh, and I knew everybody was different. You know, you accepted me in, you know, as a definitely brother. And we called ourselves the Wolfpack. The Wolfpack you know, Brothers, dude. Ever since. Hell yeah. And we've all had, a, you know, definitely a journey since we've even met, you know. Where we went, we started in Vegas and then you went back to San Francisco along with Keith. And I went back down to Louisiana and started this swing fit you know, yeah. extravaganza <laughs> yeah you know and it's cool how life has permitted us to see each other again and along your journey to come visit me in louisiana and stuff it, so you went from san francisco all the way and you did you do mostly walk or did you like do like you know didn't you catch like a hitch hitchhike somewhere you said you ran into somebody that was really interesting that you're actually going to be meeting in new orleans yeah uh, cammy yeah. So yeah, from San Francisco, at that point, like nobody really knew about the trip except for me and my other buddy that, that was there when I decided to do it. And uh, so it was getting close to Christmas time, and my mom didn't, wasn't expecting me to come home. I told her I wasn't going to be able to make it, that I needed to be in the city and just take care of my business. So I figured Christmas time, surprise my parents. And then, you know, like get to see them before I take off on this journey, you know, because I need to, I wanted to make them feel comfortable about it because I love them and I know that they care about me a lot and I knew that they would have some concerns, especially if I just took off without really telling them anything, you know, so I wanted to go home. So I hopped on a Greyhound bus from San Francisco and took a 14 hour bus ride to my parents' house in Las Vegas and um, spent like a week and a half with them just enjoying them for the holidays. Uh, got to see my grandma, which was awesome because she helped my mom get through, my mom was freaking out. She's like, every other, what would be considered sane person would be like, you're crazy. Why, why would you ever wanna go with no money and just go across the United States by yourself? Like, are you not afraid or worried about anything? Yeah. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't afraid, but uh, that's definitely subsided. And then from San Francisco, I, we had to take my grandma back to Arizona. So I rode out with my dad and my grandma to Arizona, and neither my father or myself had ever been to the Grand Canyon. 
and that's about an hour away from my grandma's house. So we made that happen. That was a great way to start the new year and just like a cool little adventure with my dad. And uh, the very next day after we went to the Grand Canyon, my dad dropped me off outside of Flagstaff, Arizona and uh, just started walking. Just started walking down the highway, man. That was an invigorating moment because uh, there was snow, like a foot or two of snow all over the ground. And as we're driving up, my dad is like, you sure you don't want to reconsider this, man? For a brief moment, I thought about it. I was like, damn, this is a pretty gnarly way to start out. You know, like, I'm going to be in a tent in the snow by myself. And I was like, nope, I ain't backing out. I was like, I'm going for it. It's like, this is, this is what I need to do for my life. And, uh, yeah, I just started walking down the highway and spent a few days just walking and uh, camping out in the stars. That's amazing. And then you yeah. said that when you started off, it was definitely cold. You said a couple nights you had like jugs that were like frozen. You woke up and it was, uh, I believe that was in New Mexico. Yeah, Albuquerque got down to about three degrees and uh, that was a frosty night. I wrote about, a, I wrote a little poem about it. It's on my blog post. Uh, it's called Five Above Zero and just talking about, you know, the shivers dance, trying to stay warm, <laughs> shaking, shaking my sleeping bag. That's awesome. I mean, I mean, not awesome, but uh, awesome story. Um, no one likes to be cold, I believe, you know, but it's, no. it's the, it's the uh, experience that makes us stronger in life. It makes us more appreciate the things. I feel like if you've never, it's not saying that you didn't reach bottom, but if you don't appreciate what you have, you ultimately never receive more, you know? Firm believer in that, for sure. And it's so inspiring to watch you where you came from to, you know, ever since I've met you to, you know, it wasn't like you had didn't have things going on in San Francisco. You're going to school. You want to take a break. You know, go out, be inspirational. And I believe that you, by inspiring yourself, you're inspiring others as well, don't you? You have a blog, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Souls Journey 2012 at Word or Souls Journey 2012 WordPress dot com. Uh, and you can also see some pictures at Instagram at Matthew's Journey. That's awesome. Well, I definitely promoted as much as I can because this is definitely inspired it's inspired all my friends um I try I appreciate to appreciate it you know yeah that's what I'm saying like how this thing this journey for me was started out for self and it's blossoming into so much more and becoming so beautiful and like even further more inspiring for me you know because by doing this I, I stopped thinking about myself after after I made the initial go to and started thinking about how other people are living, you yes. know? And um, so many people I've met in my life just don't seem happy with life, and they're just content to get by, you know? Like they're doing something just to pay bills or what have you, and they come up with a lip of excuses on why they can't do something, you know? So this trip, by me just going out and doing this, on, on my own two feet, you know, is uh, I'm hoping to inspire some other people to just chase after their dreams, whatever that may be for them. You know? Where are you headed? So when I decided to make this journey across the U.S., uh, it is the winter time right now, and I figured I need to be somewhat smart about about going on this trip. So I figured stick to the southern states because I've never seen any of them. I've never been any farther than Arizona before this. This is the farthest east I've ever been. So I'm going across the southern states and then I'm going up to New York. And like I said, it's not a destination. Like the journey is just going to continue on. Like I plan on being on a journey the rest of my life. You know, like this is the way I'm going to live for the rest of my life and being in the moment. And um, the blossoming ideas for this trip have developed into a book that I'm, I'm currently working on and when I get to New York I'm going to work hard to uh, push that to publishers and further get my name out to be able to connect with people so by reading the blog they'll already get a little insight to who I am and, and be able to see how I'm growing mentally and just uh, emotionally and overall evolving into my life's purpose 
which is, I think, the way that I can best affect the world and positively change it is by my gift of writing. And that's going to segue into being able to go around the world and by people being able to read this book, they'll already have a connection to me. And then I plan on starting to speak, you know, motivationally. And that I, I'm trying to live by that quote of Gandhi, be the change that you wish to see the world. It's starting, it's starting with me. And then I want to blossom that out to the entire world. And I, I know that we can achieve a more positive, loving world where everybody is thriving and everybody is happy and there's no need for any depressing commercials anymore because everybody is just living to their fullest and, and loving. So yeah, it's just gonna be an ongoing journey. It's gonna continue with the book and then on touring the world and trying to touch as many people's lives as I possibly can. Where is, uh, what would be the next, I don't know if you had like something, maybe a game plan. I know it's not much of a game plan, but. Uh... There's absolutely no game plan. Uh, it's just loosely planned around going over to Florida and then up the East Coast to New York. But uh, the amount of days I'm gonna spend in one specific place, there's, there's no set time. Um, this journey is gonna take, well, it's never gonna end, so. <laughs> there's no, there's no, absolutely no time frame, you know? That's awesome, my brother. Is there like a special place that you wanted to check out? I mean, I definitely wanna go, go to Miami and see what's going on over there. But uh, no, I, I know nothing about these states and I just am looking forward to connecting with the people in, in all, as many cities as I can get into and um, enjoying their culture and the people as a whole. And that's inspiring. Is I guess the really coolest thing about this as you travel through the country, you don't know that many people. So when you go to these states, it's like life is really throwing uh these people at you um, and and you're building these relationships and they just take you into their home and and, and it's not like they're taking care of you they're just they're bringing you in and, and they're wanting to experience a part of you and you're wanting to experience part of them along your journey so it's such a very very awesome way to live life as no fear you know most definitely and a lot of people say Aren't, aren't you worried or nervous to be doing this by yourself? But uh, there's people everywhere on every single street. I'm never really alone. And I'm socially butterflying and enjoying just going up to anybody and everybody and talking. And that's one of the most special things about this trip. I've shared a dinner table with multiple people that I've never met before in my life, varying in ages and cultures, and just sitting and talking to them and just listening to what they have going on in their life, trying to give some insight the best that I can, and just sharing, sharing love and ideas. That's awesome, my brother. Well, I yeah. definitely wish you the best along your journeys uh, to New Orleans, uh, and, and furthermore into the, to the Florida area and all the way up to the New York City. Uh, Most and, definitely. I appreciate that. Uh, anytime, my brother. And you're more than welcome to come back into the Louisiana. We would be honored to host you. I, I'm in love with Louisiana, and I will most definitely be back. Well, that's awesome, my brother Wills. Thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Matthew Hernandez. Uh, future journey that's going to change lives to the millions. Most definitely. Be easy, man.